In this episode, we'll be looking at Python's built-in code profiling abilities. Specifically, we'll be looking at the C profile module. Code profiling is an attempt to find bottlenecks in your code. Profiling is supposed to find what parts of your code take the longest. Then once you know that, you can take a look at those places of your code and try to find ways to optimize it. Let's look at a simple example, just to get a feel for what profiling actually does. So we'll import hashlib, which allows us to create a hash of something. And we'll also import our profiler, which is going to be C profile. And then we'll just run a little script against it to find out what happens. Okay, so we just do C profile.run. And then we tell it what to run. In this case, we're going to do a hashlib dot md5, so we're going to be doing an md5 hash on a string, and we're going to make this into a binary string. Now we'll just do something simple. JKL, okay, that'll probably work. Get a digest of that, and see what happens. Okay, so it ran a profile against this code, and we got five function calls just from this little bit of code. It'll tell you what's going on. So we have a string, we have exec. Oddly enough, we have, well, not really oddly, we have OpenSSL MD5, so that creates the hash. And then we have some other classes related to the, to the hash, and then we have the profile profiler object. None of this stuff took a whole lot of time. You've got your total time, your per call time, your cumulative time, and your end call time. So this really doesn't tell us all that because this thing just ran super duper fast. So we probably want to try creating some functions that are slow and fast so we can compare the two. So let's do that next. All right, so here we have some code that I created. And here we just import time. We have a fast function, a slow function, which has time.sleep for three seconds and the medium function which only sleeps for half a second and then the main function goes through and calls all three of them so let's try running this alright that one ran fast, that one ran slow, that one ran just a little bit slowly so now we can see what we have here locally I believe we'll have this module handy I think if we just do main Yeah, we have the main function. So let's just try profiling this. C profile.run. And we'll just run this main script. And see what we get out of it. Oops, gotta re import C profile. Alright, so it's rewriting the code and it's profiling it at the same time. So here we have 300 function calls. It took 3.889 seconds, and it's still talking about them. <laughs> so let's see what we got here. I should probably back up just a little bit and explain what each of these pieces mean. So we have the end call, which is the number of calls made. So you kind of look at that, and you see, oh, this one was called 42 times, but it's all zeros here, so this probably isn't a bottleneck yet. You've got total time, which is the total time spent in a given function. Per call refers to the quotient of total time divided by the end calls, or end calls is the number of calls made, of course. And cumulative time is the cumulative time spent in this and all subfunctions. It's even accurate for recursive functions. Whereas the second per call column, because you notice there's two of them, the second one here is a quotient of cumulative time divided by primitive calls. And then you have the file name, file name and line number, so you can kind of tell where in your code is causing a problem. So here, we know that profile test 17 in the main function is taking 3.889 seconds. Well, the main function calls everything, so that's kind of to be expected. So let's kind of scroll around in here. We can see here that, that this particular test took half a second to run, and that's the medium test whereas the slow one took three seconds. So we know this the, the slow one is probably the longest one, and it would be the one we want to optimize, if we wanted to optimize anything. 
This is kind of a silly example, but it kind of gives you an idea of where you would look in your profile output to determine what do I need to fix. And sometimes you'll see stuff that you didn't even expect to see in there, like database calls could take a really long time because you haven't um, done any optimization to your database, so it just takes a long time to return. Or you'll see that you're calling uh, an HTML server, a, a web service, and that web service is what's taking forever. There's lots of different ways to use this code or to use the profiler and to figure out what the what's going on with your code. So now that we know how to actually profile our code, I'm going to show you another way to run the profiler. So let's open up a terminal. And we'll go to the right folder. And then we can actually run Python dash M, which means we're going to run a module in Python. In this case, we'll run the profile module. And then we want to run it against our, our little script here. So if we do that, it'll actually run the whole thing like we were running it in idle. Give us a similar output. Looks like it actually might have ran a little bit faster in, in the terminal. So we kind of know that idle, is a, idle slows things down. So anyway, let's take a look at some of the command line options that you can use C profile for with. So let's see here. We have dash m for, for Python, but C profile takes like a dash o. And dash o means that we can actually save its output to somewhere. So we'll do output.txt and we'll run it again. All right, so it looks like it ran, but there was no output to the screen. Well, that's because it went to a file somewhere. Let's see if we can find that file. So let's look. Documents, and in my code folder, there should be an output thing in here. Yep, there it is. And here we can see that it output stuff. As you can see, it looks like garbage. Now, why did this happen? Unfortunately, the file it outputs isn't exactly human readable. If you want to read the file, <laughs> then you'll need to use Python's pstats module. You can use pstats to format the output in various ways. So let's actually try to do that. Let's go back to idle. I'll just close this. And we'll see what we can do. All right, so I opened up a new shell, and now we'll import the pstats module and see if we can get that file to be more readable. So there is that. We'll get a path set up to output.txt. And now we'll just create a variable called p equals pstats dot stats, and we'll pass our path in there. And now we should be able to get some output. So let's do this. P.stripdurs. And also sort our stats. And print them out. This will basically give us the same output that we had before. So as you can see, we have 12 function calls. It sorted them appropriately. In fact, by sorting them, we can kind of see what's going on. And anyway, so let's go over this a little bit. Stripters will strip out all the paths to the modules from the output, while the sort stats call does the sorting that we're used to seeing. So there's a bunch of other interesting examples in the C profile documentation showing different ways to extract information using the pstats module. I would recommend checking that out because that's probably the best way to learn it. In the meantime, you can start profiling your code right now. There are other uh, profilers like, that exist for Python, including Hotshot and Python 2. And there are also outside profilers that you can take a look at, like Line Profiler. That's a third party module that's not included in the Python library. But it's worth a look because it'll tell you line by line what part of your code is your bottleneck. So get out there and enjoy learning how to profile your code. It's very valuable to, to know how to do. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.